Hello! I am your favorite decomposer, a mushroom. Who loves mushrooms? And don't say on your pizza. Us decomposers love to break stuff down. So we're going to take a look at how to decompose fractions. But before we start, here's a joke. Why did the mushroom get invited to all the parties? Because he's a fun guy. <laughs> Let's take a look at this fraction model. It shows six of the eight equal parts shaded in. That gives us a fraction of six eighths. Now remember, as long as we have common denominators referring to the same whole, we can combine our fractions. So we could look at 6 eighths as the sum of a few different fractions. If we take each of the eighths separately, it could be the sum of 1 eighth plus 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 1 eighth, which would equal 6 eighths. Or we could break it into 4 eighths plus 2 eighths, which is also 6 eighths or 2 eighths plus 2 eighths plus 2 eighths, also 6 eighths, or 3 eighths plus 3 eighths equals to 6 eighths again. So it doesn't matter how we group them as long as our total is 6 of the eighth slices, giving us a fraction of 6 eighths. Let's try this problem. The figure below is divided into equal sections. Write an expression that represents the fraction of the figure that is shaded. Well, five of the six sections are shaded, so we're looking for an expression that equals 5 6. We could take each section separately and have 1 6 plus 1 6 plus 1 6 plus 1 6 plus 1 6. That would equal 5 6. Or we could do 2 6 plus 2 6 plus 1 6. Or 4 6 plus 1 6. Those are just some of our possibilities. Let's check out this problem. Which expression is equivalent to 8 tenths minus 3 tenths? These fractions have common denominators, so I can combine them. 8 minus 3 equals 5, so my answer is 5 tenths. Now we need to find an answer choice that also has an answer of 5 tenths. The first answer choice doesn't have common denominators, so I can't combine them. The second answer choice has common denominators, but 4 plus 7 equals 11. So that's 11 tenths, not 5 tenths. 3 fifths plus 2 fifths would be 5 fifths, or 1 whole, so that's not right. This last one says 2 tenths plus 3 tenths, which is 5 tenths. Bingo! There's our answer. This problem says which expression represents the amount of fraction strip that is shaded? Well, 3 out of the 4 sections are shaded, so it must be 3 fourths. Now we need to find an answer choice that equals 3 fourths. The first answer choice is 1 third plus 1 third plus 1 third. That would be 3 thirds or 1 whole. That can't be right. 2 fourths plus 3 fourths equals 5 fourths, so that's not right. 1 fourth plus 1 fourth equals 2 fourths, so that's wrong. Finally, we have 1 fourth plus 1 fourth plus 1 fourth, which is 3 fourths, and we have our answer. This one says, the point on the number line shows the value of the sum of two fractions. Which expression has the same sum? Since every eight marks on the number line is one whole, each mark represents one eighth. That would make our point one and five eighths. So we're looking for an expression with a sum of one and five eighths. Six eighths plus seven eighths equals 13 eighths. 7 sixteenths plus 6 sixteenths equals 13 sixteenths. 1 fourth plus 8 fourths equals 9 fourths. And 8 eighths plus 3 eighths equals 11 eighths. Wait a minute! None of them gave me 1 and 5 eighths. They gave me these improper fractions. Let's look at 1 and 5 eighths again and see how else we could write that fraction. Well, the point is on the 13th mark past 0. And that's the 13th eighth, so that would give us 13 eighths. That means this one is correct. You are now ready to be a decomposer like me. Before you leave, I have a joke for you. Why did the fungi leave the party? There wasn't mushroom. <laughs> Good luck.